but the Antichrist's own temple. The temple of God where Antichrist sits must be and is St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, the largest Christian church in the world, and the very spot where the first Pope St. Peter was buried. The Catholic Encyclopedia article on Antichrist points out that St. Bernard believed that the only way that the Antichrist could deceive, if it were possible, even the elect, is by becoming an anti-pope, one whom the world at large believed was a true pope, but in actual fact was an anti-pope. And as we already stated, the Mother of God herself warned us on the day of September 19, 1846 in La Salette, France, where she prophesied that, quote, Rome will lose the faith and become the seat of the Antichrist. The church will be in eclipse. The fact that the Antichrist presently sits in St. Peter's Basilica should cause all Protestants to recognize that the Catholic churches are the temples of God, the true churches of Christ, which have been taken over by Antichrist and his counterfeit church in the last days. The Antichrist is sitting in the temple of God right now, showing himself as if he were God, by preaching that he and everyone else is God. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, whose coming is according to the working of Satan, in all power and signs and lying wonders, and in all seduction of iniquity, to them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. Therefore God shall send them the operation of error, to believe lying, that all may be judged who have not believed the truth, but have consented to iniquity. St. Paul says that the Antichrist's coming is in accordance with the working of Satan in all power, signs, and lying wonders. This is also being fulfilled today during the reign of the Antichrist. Right now there are literally thousands of people who claim to have apparitions of God in the Blessed Virgin Mary concerning Antipope John Paul II. These alleged apparitions state that John Paul II is not only a valid Pope, but a great one the saintly pope especially chosen by God to lead the church in these times. Some of these apparitions even state that anti-pope John Paul II is the greatest pope in all of history and that he is the last true pope before the coming of the Antichrist. All these apparitions are from the devil. They are false signs and lying wonders predicted by St. Paul in 